Welcome everybody. In this video I will take you through another one of the skill test problems for ELT 106 aka electrical circuits. So let us begin. As you remember from the last video, this is your work order and you will want to pay special attention to the problem description and status of repairs. Status of repair shows if somebody else has worked on this problem but has not completed it, whether they could not figure it out themselves or they did not have the experience to. Problem description will describe exactly what they have seen happening and you can use this to quickly gauge what is going wrong with your circuit. So let us begin. Here is the normal ELT 106 electrical circuit skill test circuit and let us check to see if the lights are working. No power. So lights do not turn on when we push any of the push buttons. We will go to our schematic diagram and we should know by looking at this that if we push any of these both lights should turn on. As this is not the case, we must now find out what is going wrong. What you will do is pull out your meter and go to voltage meter readings. Voltage reading is how you test whether you are getting power through the circuit. So we will take the first one, our black lead, and put it on neutral. and put it in the first part of the circuit at the beginning of the fuse. So we are getting no power there. Let us check live. We are still getting no power. But there's something wrong at the beginning of the circuit right here. So we will go to ohm pull out our breaker panel turn off the lighting circuit, lock out, and verify dead. You must do these, all of these commands and you must verify dead otherwise you will be marked off in the thing and can even get safety error or even worse kill yourself in the exercise. So now that we are in ohm we will disconnect at the first part of the fuse and take the black lead to here and the red lead to here. We should get resistance across the wire. But look, there's no resistance at all. Ooh, loose connection. The terminal seems to be loose. Do you want to tighten it or continue to disconnect? This means the wire, when it was first put in, was not put in tightly enough or it has since moved loosened out of it by either vibrations or anything else. So let's tighten it. Take your screwdriver, reconnect to the fuse, turn off your meter, remove the lock on the breaker panel, turn on the lighting circuit and test the circuit. PB1 works, PB2 works, PB3 works, and 4, 5, and 6 work. Using observation, we were able to discover that this wire right here was not tightened correctly and was the source of our problem because when we measured voltage, there was no power flowing from the beginning, from the terminal block, to the fuse. If we had received power to here but not to here, that means our fuse would have been blown and the problem would have been elsewhere. I hope this video is, helps you and I hope you get a lot out of this one.